National Lifeboat Institution was founded in 1824, but first established a lifeboat station in Poole in 1865. Lifeboats in Poole have since been launched into one of the largest natural harbours in the world for over 150 years, providing a life-saving service for Poole Harbour and surrounding waters. Even today, the lifeboat team in Poole is a vital element of, for coastal safety. The current crew have been awarded with 22 medals of gallantry. But let's look at the lifeboat station's history. The RNLI in Poole started in 1826 uh, at Studlin Point. What they used to do was call them out with a, a big bang. Uh, they used to muster at the Antelope Inn and come along to the sandbanks at Studland Point where the lifeboat was kept by horse-drawn carriages so you can imagine then going around uh, the old roads as such at fair tilt. Uh, it used to take a bit longer than it does now to get the boats launched. Now we hope to get the boats launched from 8 and 11 minutes whereas then you were lucky if you got mobile in the water within half an hour. Today, we still have one of Paul's historic lifeboats displayed in the old boathouse. Thomas Kirk Wright performed her first service on 22nd of January 1939, when she was sent to assist Snapper, a motor launch in difficulties off Boscombe Pier. This boat here is called the Thomas Kirk Wright. It was built in cows on the Isle of Wight in 1938. It came into commission here in 1939 and in 1940 uh, it went to Folkestone and was uh, commandeered by the government and the Royal Navy to help get people off Dunkirk. Making three trips over four days, she carried many troops from the beaches and harbour and rescued survivors from some controllers. All three boats of this class were involved in Dunkirk simply because they don't have propellers as such. Uh, they've got what they call impellers, so they could practically beach up onto the beach, get people on board and then use the impellers to get off the beach. On the final trip she was loaded with French soldiers and came under fire from German troops. No one was injured but she was seriously damaged with one engine burnt out and 30 centimetres of water in the hold. But she remained afloat. I believe it's not written down anywhere but I've been told quietly that it's, they saved about 30,000 servicemen. She went on to serve 23 years, saving 15 lives, due to the commitment and skill of her crew. Now, Thomas Kirk Wright sits in Pool Quay Old Boathouse and is enjoyed by many visitors who come to the small museum to learn more about the boat and the history of the Iron Eye. If you wish to visit Paul Key Old Boathouse, please visit paullifeboats.org.uk or to donate to the RNLI, please visit rnli.org.